me on the other side Meet me on the other side I'll see you on the other side See you on the other side Now if I'm honest I still don't know what love is Another mirage falls Into the haze of time recall And now the floodgates cannot hold All my sorrow, all my rage A tear that falls on every Maybe I ought to mention it was never my intention to harm you or your kid. Are you so scared to look within? The ghosts are crawling on our skin. We may race, we may run, we'll not undo what has been done. Change the moment when it's gone. Meet me on the other side Meet me on the other side See you on the other side See you on the other side Now if I'm honest I still don't know what love is Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Relax. Uh, First of all, never mind the new album. You've had another new happening since you were last on the show. Yeah, that's right. I had a baby. Little Ivy? Yeah. How old is she now? She's uh, three and a half months. You're counting the days still? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't do very much. <laughs> yeah. How are you managing family life, though? Because you, you, you've had the album, White Ladder. You toured that for so long because it was just sequentially popular in more and yeah. more territories. And now you got married and a new album to, to do the same process with. Well, it's a bit of a challenge, but we've, we've got this flight case with air holes in it. 
So we Elijah goes in there. We just ship her around. Yeah. Um, White Ladder wasn't the first album. I mean, you were someone waiting to happen for, uh, for quite a while. Yeah, it took a little, a little time, I think, for me to, to get it right in the studio. And then it sort of, the success came, but I mean, beyond my wildest reckonings, really. Yeah, it happened here first, um, and I think, so something I didn't like, know that. Yeah, 375,000 <laughs> 375, copies in Ireland. I mean, it's the biggest selling album ever in Irish history, which is a, a terrific achievement. You know, there must be one in, in every household where there are people of a particular age, there's a copy of that album. It's, it's, uh, it's too much for me to get my head around. I can't get my head around that at all. I don't know how you're supposed to. Um, yeah, but you've got to follow it with uh, uh, the new album. That's, that's one of the problems. Yeah, I, I, I suppose it's a problem. Um, it's just obviously, it, it's written its own story, White Ladder, and I think it's, there's a danger, obviously, that that story will engulf everything. It sort of belittles the music on the record. Mm. The things become so ubiquitous that, um, you know, you just have to guard against it. From my point of view, it was a it was a period of time, and now I'm moving on. So, I think it will take its place within my career if I continue to do what I do. But yeah, you can't just try to copy the same thing again. Well, I wouldn't be interested. It. That was then. Mm. This is now. Um, it wasn't always like it is now. I mean, you've you've got three gigs in the point, and I've just heard the third one is now sold out. So no point in trying to get a ticket for for David Gray. Oh, um, we've got a few, actually. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit more expensive than they are. <laughs> um, but, I mean, some of your gigs in Ireland weren't quite as salubrious as the point, I hear. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no it, uh, it wasn't always so glamorous, but it was always fun. Uh, a good crack. Uh, we've had a wild time. I mean, this is where I tell my amusing anecdote, isn't it? About well, if you have one. <laughs> Do you have one? Well, I, I remember once, uh, I know I was going to talk about, we did a sound check once in Waterford and all the power went down so that it was incredibly quiet and the guy said, oh, don't worry, the milking started. The, the, <laughs> it'll be over by the time you start. I won't do an Irish accent. Uh, it'll, it'll be over by the time the gig starts. But I remember, because uh, I did a lot of gigs solo, so it was only a few of us. And there was, well, there was three of us. Uh, my wife, my manager and me, and we got a bit twisted one night in Dublin. And we got into playing charades, but we realised that we couldn't write them because there was not enough people in the group. So we phoned the doorman and said, write names of films and songs down on a, on a thing and tear up the bits of paper and get it up to the room so we could play charades. So that's, that's, that's what it used that's to be like. how it used to be. How is it now? I mean, you've got the, the lads behind you. Well, I have someone who just thinks up film titles all the time. <laughs> I pay them, that's all they do. No, but I mean, it has, it has the whole thing, the success. I mean, we sold, what, two million in the US, two million plus in, in the UK, and all the albums here. I mean, your life has changed. You can pretty much have what you want. I mean, does it change you personally? I mean, do you... Well, I mean, if you want to take all that on board, I mean, it's the least important... That's a byproduct of what happened. What happened was a, a fantastic thing in sort of human terms. Well, as far as me and all the people who've been involved in this was concerned, the money and the success, that's what seems to preoccupy people. I mean, I, to me, it's still a challenge. Every song you write, what are you going to write about? What are you going to do? A song is a fantastic way of getting across to people. That's what I'm interested in, so... That, that hasn't altered. Yeah. But you know the way, when, when you're uh, living from hand to mouth, yeah. your experiences uh, create certain kinds of emotions and songs that go with them. When things aren't tight, um, you know, inspiration may be harder to, to locate. I've heard that theory. I think, may, you know, maybe. But I, I just haven't found it to be like, you know, life, it's, it's not easy. Not if you're living it right. Not that I've known. So uh, whether you've got money in the bank or not, I mean, things happen that way beyond your control yeah so uh so you're doing those two o'clock in the morning feeds then are you <laughs> i am yeah when does that when does that ease up <laughs> not for a while and that's just for the band yeah. jesus <laughs> 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 well, david now wish you the very best thank you mr david gray fantastic thanks very much okay that's the end of part one we'll see you in a couple of minutes <laughs>